G'day, you extraordinary group of elusive, targeting, hilarious hitmen, and welcome back to Hitman 1, 2, and 3. Now, our journeys have finally brought us to the start of an all-new series, unlike anything that has ever been done before. You see, in this series, I'll be playing my way through the World of Assassination trilogy in regular Hitman in the first half of each video, before then strapping myself into the good old VR headset and attempting to recreate every action taken in VR to see whether the tactics used in Pancake Hitman would actually work in the virtual real world. The catch, however, is that I'm required to do all of this whilst playing like a professional hitman. And as for today, well, today we begin at the start. Paris, France. Let the chaos begin. But before jumping in, let me explain the loadout for this video. I'll be wearing my extra sexy Greek fire suit. My Krugermeier tutu. I'll be bringing three greedy little coins. My classic lockpick. And I've requested the Diana Stash a Seeker 1-1 in the staircase, just in case case. And here we are in beautiful, beautiful Paris at the Sanguine Fashion show, a place we've been a million times before. And whilst I may not be dressed for the occasion, I have an invitation. Now, looking over at this news reporter, it gives me an idea. An idea about something that I don't think I've actually ever done before. You see, inside of mission stories, there is one mission story directly related to this that involves a camera and a bomb, I think. A rare scoop. That sounds good to me. But a little bit of preparation is involved. Hey, would you look at that Victor Novikov is making his way downstairs. Very, very spicy. Anyway, I'm doing the best I can to really remember everything that I do because like I said, I want to follow the steps that I took in pancake form and then recreate them and retrace them in VR as best that I can. But it's fine. Everything's fine. Just make sure you take in all the glory and beautifulness of this group of people because they're going to look like melted Play-Doh once we hop into VR. Now, I believe that Cheeky Diana left a cheeky something for me here in this staircase. Excuse me while I close the door and I take my Seeker 1. Hmm, very, very nice. This will make people do great things at a toilet bowl, but it is only to be used in the case of an emergency. So, what I'm looking for is over there. Let's see if we can sneak through this door. Hey guys, what does this say? Access into dit u public. That means only come in here if you have trimmed your public hairs. Cannot enter these premises. Okay, I guess I have not trimmed my public hairs. That's okay, though. We'll find another way in. Oh, you are Securite. Hello, Securite. I am Securong. Now it looks like my hunt for the light bulb brings me to this room where there is another news reporter that looks like the one outside, but it's not. Oh, hold on. She's looking for a lens for her camera and it's an emergency. I'm about to do an interview with Victor Novikov. All right. Well, you know, I reckon... Um, hold on. Let me just have a look out this window. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can see a spare camera. Just give me a second, love. Oh, and how about this? Place remote explosive. Well... Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, yes, standard issue battle axe behind the cash register in case you get some unruly customers. I mean, quite understandable if you've ever worked in retail. Anyway, let's head out here. Oh, unlock door, yes. Let me use my classic lockpick. I knew it was going to come in handy at some point. Excuse me while I head over here and just pinch your camera lens. Look at that camera lens. That's a nice looking camera lens. Gimme. Now, let's go back inside and give this wonderful gift to this wonderful lady. Oh, God, yes. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I mean, you probably, you won't be thanking me later when the camera blows up while you're holding it, but, you know, <laughs> but it's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, hold on. Did I forget to put the bomb in the camera? Oh, sh**. All right, so let's slip over here and pinch this camera lens one more time. But before slapping it on the camera, let's go and get ourselves a remote explosive. Yes, I could have brought one myself, but that would have resulted in a much shorter video. Besides, we're playing this like a professional hitman, and a professional hitman probably wouldn't come to a gala with an explosive in his pocket. As for the explosives, though, I believe that they're located on the top floor in the attic somewhere. Excuse me, everybody coming through. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, no, no, I'm not coming through here. There's a wall. My only weakness. How did they know? Can I like just, you know, cheekily climb up here and then slip into the back, avoiding any security guards or anything like that? Did, did I really do that? And nobody watching the show 
notice that? <laughs> That's cool. Getting up there, though, in this outfit is going to be tricky. So I'm going to see if I can circumvent the security protocols that they've got in place. Then to do that, I plan on hopping my way over the fence and then finding a pipe that I can scale to get to the top floor. And right there, I think I see one. Now I just need to get there without being spotted. Easier said than done. But easier done than said if you're a professional assassin like Agent 47. All right, now I just have to make it to the top without getting spotted. Making sure that I justify the expensive pole dancing lessons that I've been taking recently. And now I have made it onto the next floor. Where does this go? This is Visity du Palais Soleil, Ten Soleil, a manga. Ah, uh, yes. The room with the letter opener. Yes, very, and the vacuum cleaner. Great room, this one. And this room here, the room where you actually find Santa Claus if you play Christmas quarters or whatever it's called. Now look at me, bro. I'm hiding. No, don't, don't come over here, mate. I'm trying to be stealthy, bro. Stop it. Never mind. Above my pay grade. Yeah, that's right. I am above your pay grade. Keep walking. All right, let's keep going and move into the next room. Or maybe even this balcony. Maybe there's a pipe here that will take me where I need to get to. What's the matter, chap? You looking for something? Did you see something? Somebody. No, of course you didn't. Don't be silly. Anyway, let's continue shimming our way along the building as we now climb to the next level. This is very important because the next level is the next level. Now, this should make it easier for me to get to the explosives. Oh, this is not easy. There's a lot of people here. Very, very inconvenient. So what I'm going to do is lob my letter opener over there and then take this opportunity to slip past these three guys and then make Make my way into this room, which is coincidentally the exact room that I was looking for. Let me just take all of this ammunition, confiscating it. It's very, very dangerous. And then I... Oh, look, there, there it is. There it is. All right, hold on. Let me just slip past you real quick. Remote explosive. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll be leaving now. <laughs> and look at that, my other target. But I'm not ready for you yet, Diarrhea Mondolus, because it's time to talk about the sponsor for today's video, Alchemy Labs. Now, I remember back in the good old days when I was a young whippersnapper, there used to be these things called jobs. Well, unfortunately, due to the great Tide Pod depression of 2017, aliens replaced us all with robots after deeming us too stupid for, well, anything. But thanks to Job Simulator VR, and it's totally an accurate recreation for what it used to be like to job, you can get a glimpse of what we used to have to do back in the day to put bread on the table. With four different career paths to dabble in, you'll have the chance to get about 0.00. Uh, zero zero one percent acquainted with how things used to be before we were all stuffed in the human zoo for our alien overlords entertainment and replaced with mini terminators use your virtual hands to smash things photocopy your brain after removing it from your left nostril drink endless amounts of caffeine eat trash service your customers cars and send them back home with a lemon brilliant now as part of alchemy labs black friday and cyber monday sales you can grab yourself a copy of either job simulator or vacation simulator Simulator or both for 40% off until November 28th on the Meta Store to play on your Quest 2 or Quest 3. So visit the link in the description, log into your Meta account, and use the code BFCM23 at the checkout to take advantage of this cracker of an offer. Now, back to the action. Now, escaping this location is going to be a little bit tricky. There are a lot of guards, and they all seem to be looking over in this direction. So I'm going to shimmy my way across here. Certainly nobody would notice me. Then, once once I've made my way past all of these guards, I'll jump back in through an open window and I should be in a better position to get out of the attic undetected. Then just like that, I am now, whoa, I am now somewhere I do not want to be. All right, here I go again, jumping out another window and looking for a better location to re-enter the building from. Oh, okay, Diary Mondolis' private bathroom. Oh, hold on a second, there's a guard there, maybe if I... No, no, you didn't see me, bruh. No, 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 stop looking this way, mate. Don't, don't look this way. Oh, <laughs> I am good. And now I'm straight back out where I started from. That was the most pointless thing I think I've ever done in my entire life. It's fine, though. Everything's fine, though. Let me just lob a wrench over there. And now while everyone's looking in that direction, I will very stealthily sneak my way back out from the door that I entered. Now, all I have to do is make my way back down to the ground floor and we are golden. Anyway, let's go and stuff that remote explosive into the camera, shall we? Alrighty, time to get tactically testicle, place remote explosive inside of camera, and then tell the influencer that the stuff is ready. Hey, Lana. Oh, God, yes, 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 yes. 
Yes, yes. You're very welcome. Please take it. I promise there's no connection to the detonator in my hand and the camera that you're walking away with. Sorry, Lana. Had my fingers crossed. All right, looks like we're heading outside. It would be a bit weird if she decided to do the interview in the same location as the other news reporter who has the same face as her but isn't her. Isn't that weird? I think it's weird. Ah, so this is where we're doing it. All right, you're going to get a nice interview of his feet. Hmm, not my thing, but okay. And I will very patiently just chill out over next to this guard. What's going on, guard? All right, here we go. The man of the hour. Bodyguard in tow. Now, I'm trying to think of how I can get Lana away from Victor so that the camera doesn't blow her up in the process. Now, everything's set, Mr. Nolkov. Just check my phone. Let's see if the live stream is working. Won't take more than a sec, okay? Okay, Lana, you want to go do it over there? I reckon. Oh, she is. She's moving. All right, fair enough. Body hidden. Alana seems all right, a little bit dazed, but Victor fell into the fountain and his body disappeared, never to be located. Why is everyone looking at me like I have something to do with this? All right, so let's just keep our distance momentarily until everybody forgets the fact that the owner of this ginormous castle just got blown up by a camera. All right, he's forgotten. And now we just wait for this guy and he's forgotten too. All right, great. I'm glad that people in Paris get over things quickly. You know, between you and me, I'd be more upset about the red carpet than anything else. Look at that. What a waste of fluffy stuff. Ah, bodyguard's phone. Don't need it, but I'll take it anyway. Now to take care of Diarrhea Mondolus, which means back up to the top floor we go. Now for this target, I'm thinking of going with another story mission. Matter of fact, I'm think- Oh, hold on, wait. Window of opportunity has passed. Oh, let's go with a quick break because pretty much everything has passed its window of opportunity. So to make this work, I believe that I need to retrieve the USB dingle dongle from Diarrhea Mondolus' assistant, which means getting into her orifice. You know what? Let me investigate the laptop first and see if maybe... Hold on, what's this? Insert password dingle... All right, I've got to get the dongle dongle. Oh, wait, hold on. The mission story has updated and apparently the USB dongle is over here. It was not on her person to begin with. Now I'm going to need to make another distraction. I'm going to throw my scissors at the wall and wait for everyone to... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the roast pork, fellas. So there is the USB dingle dongle 15 meters away. Let's see if I can grab it before anybody notices what I'm doing. Give me that. Thank you. Then now back out I go yet again. Time for one more distraction. <laughs> Sorry again. All right, back into the orifice we go. And now it is time to insert the dingle dongle in the laptopius maximus. All right, here she comes. And I've got absolutely no plan whatsoever. This is, I, I don't know, this is not going to, this is not going to go well. Well, diarrhea, why? What What are you doing, idiot? What, you're meant to come in here and do the laptop. What are you doing, you fool? Oh, wait, hold on a second. Look Look at this. This guy's, he's offering to get her out of here to save her. What a great guy. Stop that. Sorry. <laughs> All right, hold up. She's coming back again. Maybe I can time it. Oh, she's coming into the office. All right, maybe she won't see me. Go to your computer, diarrhea mondolus. Go stand under the old your chandelierius maximus, and I'll just plop it on your head. Uh, uh, that wasn't me. Don't look at me, bro. Where are you, Haley. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. What the hell? Wait, hold on a second. I just realized that Diarrhea Mondolus isn't isn't even suspecting me of anything. So I'm allowed to be in here? Is it <laughs> is this okay? Are you sure? Mr. Reaper. Uh all right, you know what? I wonder if I slip out here, if I could just pop the sky with the old Spew gun. Don't worry, you're fine, mate. You're fine. Don't worry about it. And then maybe if I can get diarrhea to stand here. Yeah, pick that up, diarrhea mondolus. That's a greedy little coin. Get it. Get it, you greedy little woman. Then I'll just do that. All right. Job well done. I mean, realistically, that chandelier was nowhere near diarrhea mondolus, but you know. I'll take it. Don't know about you, but all in all, I'd say that went pretty well. See you again soon, Paris. In VR. Clean ICA assassin. That's one step up from my usual melon man. <laughs> or, or what is it? Messy amateur. All right, well, here we are. And through a lot of trial and error, I've actually managed to make the game look really good. <laughs> I don't remember it ever looking this good when I played it previously. Like, now I can actually see what people's faces look like. Would you say, lady, that Hitman VR turned out really bad. I think, I think they, that, oh, what? I got, what? I say cheese. Yeah, hey, I just want to let everyone know that Hitman had a lot of potential, but it turned out really, really. Why do you think that is? Can you tell, can you tell the fans? Let's go for a break. 
Probably coked out of his mind. <laughs> Me? What? It's not coke. It's coca You know, being a massive dickhead really does feel different when you do it in virtual reality. <laughs> Wouldn't you say, you ugly old wanker? Actually, I take that you're a very handsome okay. man. Okay. You're very hey. handsome. Come give me a kiss. Come here. Huh. Give me your kiss, bubba. <laughs> Whoa, slow down. Who are you? The, sorry. Sorry, I got carried away. Anyway, Sir, um... I'm talking to you. Oh, what? What, you mate? You want to fight? For this. You want to fight? Oh, no. oh shit. Alright, note to self, I said I was going to be playing this like a professional assassin. I'm pretty sure a professional assassin wouldn't go on Passion <laughs> with a security guard, then punch him in the face and shoot him in the bum hole. Don't be a maniac. Don't be a maniac. Just look down. Don't move your hands. <laughs> Don't punch anyone in the head. Hey, Victor, looking good. Looking good. Looking looking better than you're gonna look in 10 minutes. Let's just keep everything under control. No silly business. Pick up my diarrhea gun. Then I'm gonna go back out and I have to... What? What? Why is everyone looking at... Oh, you want me to dance? Boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, ba, boom, da, da. So, if my memory serves me correctly, this is where I wandered into before, where the blogger was, like, on the phone and I decided to be a good citizen and help hey, her. Up? Hello, Securite. How are you? Looking good. Boink. <laughs> All right, there's our friend Lana Caprice, the lady in need of a new camera lens, and I am going to help her. G'day, Lana. What do you need, love? Sir? Yeah? Crime notice. Oh, I'm getting. The what? What? How do I reload this? Ah! Sorry. Unless you happen to have a spare camera lens. I do actually, yeah, I do. I'll get you one, all right? You just wait here, you don't go anywhere. So then I slipped out this door here and I crouched down and I snuck my way behind limousine after limousine all the way over to the PRX4 van where, if I'm not mistaken, a cheeky camera lens was waiting for me inside. Very, very spicy. What the hell? Was there always a ladder here? Hey, lady. How you going? Nothing sus. <laughs> Nothing sus at all. This is my castle. Oh, bro. This is the Sheik's room. This is actually what I wanted to do, but I couldn't do it because I missed the opportunity. Oh, this would have been great. Never mind. Never mind. It's too late now. We'll just have to sneak through here. Mister, you are currently trespassing in a restricted area. Oh. Sorry, I'll leave. Honestly, man, I don't know how I got in there. I was just looking for the toilet. Next minute, I was climbing up a ladder up the side of the building. And then I was in the Sheik's private room. It's crazy how these things happen all the time to me. Anyway, let's sneak our way past these people here. Don't look this way, mate. Hoping that I don't get spotted by the Securite or by the lady over there. Just got to be extra stealthy. Everything's going to be fine. Hold on. They changed it, bro. They're, they're, there's no pipes. There's no pipes. There was a pipe there. Now there's a ladder here. What the hell? I mean, it should be okay. It's probably gonna take me to the same place, I assume. Just gonna sneak out onto the balcony. And then we're gonna jump over the edge. Hold on. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Why can't I jump over the edge? Dude, no. Dude, no. It's not. Oh, they changed all this crap for VR. I can't even. Don't look at me, mate. Don't look at me. So we're gonna have to try and find a series of, I don't know. Oh, there is a pipe here. This is so weird. Why did they just randomly change things on the level? It doesn't make sense. Let's just sneak over here behind the table. All right. And then I try and throw a coin over there on the wall. How do I throw it back? Oh, Dr. Phil nearly saw me. Dr. Phil is looking for me. Go away, Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> off. You, Dr. Phil, you f***ing <laughs> stupid f***. <laughs> no. no. So, let's be extra tactically testicle, and this time, let's get the remote detonator thing, and we'll also pick up the USB while we're here, because last time, I didn't get it, because I'm a freaking knobhead. Put this in here. <laughs> Give me that. Did I get it? Alright, I think I got it. I want, I want this gun too. Sick. Yeah, bro. Bro, look at this piece. This is sick. Yes, yeah, so it looks like I've got late stage Parkinson's, but it's fine. I can still hit a... Bull in the balls with a bale of hay from a mile away. All right, now if I can't shimmy anymore, does that mean I can no longer just... Oh, I can. What is this? What the hell? What the hell? How am I even? None of this makes sense. This is... This is mental. <laughs> this is so sketch. What the hell, bro? Oh my goodness. The Ah, oh, the view's changing. It's changing camera angles every two seconds. I'm going to spew. All right, well... Now we need to get past these bozos again and get back out that door. Um, 
I reckon we can do it. Hold on. Let me just lob the old coiny coin over there in the corner. Ugh. Oh, shit. What's wrong with you? Everything. E everything's wrong with me, really. Like, where do I start? Alright, I'm not gonna be bothering you no more, sir. Oh, I'm allowed here? Cool. What's going on in here? It's an auction. You know what? I'll- I'll bid the biggest bid. The bidding has closed. Oh. <laughs> hey, look, a random screwdriver just laying on the countertop. Look at this. Bet you never seen anyone spin a screwdriver like this before, eh? How does that make you feel? Bah! Oh, <laughs> Oh my goodness, that I'm made me sorry, Eddie Murphy laugh. Sure. And now all that's left to do is head into this room and stuff the camera full of explosives before giving Lana her lens. All right, this should do the trick. Place remote explosive camera. All right, I did it. I did it. Oh, oh. This is dangerous. You look a little bit lost in thought there. You just you're wondering if this is if this is it, eh? The big moment where you had that career breakthrough. Look, I'll tell you one thing. You're gonna get a hell of a scoop. Now, but everything's set, Mr. Nokov. Just check my phone to see if the live stream is working. Good idea, Lana. Go just check as far away as possible. Hey guys, sorry. Let me just hide behind this Ferrari. I'm just hiding because I'm scared, not because I did it. <laughs> I'm a maniac in VR. Holy moly. All right, so now let's make our way back to the top of the building to meet up with Diarrhea Mondolus once more. And here we are. Let's just make sure we don't get spotted. There's the lady. Let's stuff this into the lap. What's this? No, I don't need to open any letters, bro. All right, now Diarrhea Mondolus is here. That is great. And where's her private guard? There he is. All right, now I'm just gonna get my thing and shoot him in the penis. I think I got him. Yep, 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 yep. I got him. I got him. <laughs> you go to the toilet, mate. You'll be right. Hey, diary, I got, I got money for you. Hold on. Here. Just close this door. Good lass. There you go. <laughs> Give me my dollar back. Thank you. Oh, that's pills. Never mind. And just like that, fellas, my hands are clean. Done, done, and done. Have a great day to you too. And you. And you. All right. Great to be done with this VR. I hate it. And once again, Stealth ICA Assassin. I'll take it.